Thomas. Hey, you're pretty flexible. Are you a gymnast or something? I was an alternate on the 1980 Olympic team. Geez, I wish I could do that. Well, it's pretty easy. Try it. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, you're you're an Indian, right? Yeah, I'm Thomas, and this is Victor. We're Coeur d'Alene Indians. I'm Kathy. I'm from Mississippi. Nice suit. Thanks. I don't mean to brag, but I was every bit as good as Mary Lou. In 1984, I tried out again, and Mary Lou beat me that time, but I had grown, you know? Oh, those little people, they get all the attention. Me, I put my whole life into making the Olympics, then Jimmy Carter took it away. Geez, you gymnasts got a lot in common with us Indians then, innit? Hey. Hi. You said you were an alternate for the team, right? Yeah. Well, if you were an alternate, then you'd only compete if somebody was hurt or something, right? Yeah. Was anybody hurt? No. Then you really weren't on the team, were you? I mean, it didn't really matter if there's a boycott or not. You were staying home anyways. You ain't got nothing to complain about, so why don't you just be quiet? What'd you do that for? She was nice. Nice my ass. She was a liar. No, she wasn't. Yes, she was. Think about it, Thomas. What would a big shot Olympic gymnast be doing on a bus? Answer me that, Thomas. I don't know. You know, Thomas, you really need to grow up. Don't you know anything? People are awful. They'll rob you blind if you ain't watching. Where's your piggy bank? You still got your piggy bank? Yeah. Just